So we've got some questions from the fans. Natasha, what do you eat on a typical day? How do you start the day? I always like to start the day with something sweet and fresh. I just like to acknowledge that sweet tooth because we all have one. I think the best way to start the day is with fruit, um, whether that be eaten straight or as a smoothie. Otherwise, I have a big juice or backups, cereal or oats. What sort of cereals do you like to eat? Like... I like rice bubbles, rice cocoa bubble. pops, yeah. Nutri-Grain, and cornflakes mainly. Yeah. yeah. So what do you have with that cereal? With my cereal, my favourite non-dairy milk is oat milk. Yeah. It's a nice flavour, and I always top my cereal with raw sugar. Raw sugar. So you not you don't do dairy or vegan? No, I don't do dairy. So are you vegan or? Yes, I'm okay. vegan. How long have you been vegan for? For two years now. Nice. Very good. And so. See so how many grams would you have in that bowl of rice bubbles? I'm trying, I'm trying to visualize it. Like, is it a little small bowl or is it? No, I have a big bowl. It's mm. always filled right to the brim. Yeah. It's almost pouring over. So probably a couple of hundred grams of yeah, rice it, bubbles. Yeah. It's probably a few hundred grams. Yeah. A six hundred and fifty gram box of cereal only lasted me about four meals. Yeah, four meals. Okay, that's good. So you're carving the fuck up. Yeah. What, how much sugar do you put in? A few tablespoons, teaspoons, pour it on it all. Just make it nice and sweet. Yeah, it, it's usually a few tablespoons. Otherwise, I just pour the bag so it's got a nice layer on top. Little, little frosted flakes. Frosted Fro- flakes, yeah. Frosted rice bubbles. And what about, do you find with the, uh, you know, how does that, does, that, does that sustain you at all? Can you work good on that? Or like, does it make, leave you hungry an hour later? Or is it, that should go pretty good all day? Yeah, I find cereal to be quite filling, especially with the sweet stuff added on top. Yes. Uh, it keeps me going for a few hours. And I just think it gives that boost mm-hmm. for your energy yeah, and your thoughts and... Mood. And your mood, definitely. What, what happens if you don't eat enough carbohydrate for you? Do you I get cranky and sort of like impatient and, and bored. What happens to you? Yep, I get cranky and my mind just fogs up and yeah. I can't think straight. I get frustrated. <laughs> yep, that's, that's mainly... Yes, I guess, I guess like everyone. Yeah, you like get, everybody. You, you ever get hangry? Yes, I get hangry. <laughs> and, and hangry, because like, what's, what's hangry mean? Hangry is like angry when you're hungry. You're hungry. And, yeah. Hungry, angry. Hungry, angry. 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 <laughs> Very good. So fruit's your preference for breakfast. If you can't get that, you'll have some cereal. Make yeah. it s- sort of sweet and juicy. And then let's go, let's move on to lunch. What sort of lunch do you like to have? More fruit or rice or depends on the weather or? Yeah, it depends on the weather. When it's hot out in summer, I love to have more fruit. If it's cold, I want something a bit more warming. Yeah. Like maybe... That. Let's do both meals. So it's a hot summer's day. Uh, you, what are you going to have for lunch, ideally, fruit-wise? Ideally, probably like four to five mangoes or a big melon. Yeah. Something really hydrating. Do you drink I banana think. smoothies at all? Yep, I drink banana smoothies. My record is nine bananas. Nine bananas, With yeah. added, sugar. added sugar. How much sugar do you normally put in there? It's about like a thousand calorie smoothie, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about that. Yeah. I, I just pour the sugar in until I think it looks like sweet to really taste. sweet amount. And do, what do you put with it? Some soy milk or water or? Usually I put water because they are very creamy on their own. Yeah. But if I've got other fruit in there, I'll just put a dash of non-dairy milk and then top that up with water. Nice. Do you ever yeah. do the pulse pulse blend method where you just like pulse the blender? Like bang, bang, bang. You, I've say, done that a couple of times do, here does in it make Adelaide. A difference? Does it make a difference for you or not really? No, it didn't. Yeah. I found that when I did it, it wasn't Didn't make smooth enough. Okay, yeah. Yeah. What else to show you? And uh, all right, so that's and then so that's the summer lunch. Uh, what about a winter lunch? Like it's cold, maybe it's raining outside. What would you like to have for lunch then? Well, I usually have a sweet tooth at lunch, and if it's cold out, Cereal I'll have oats, and oats. then I'll put lots of strawberry or raspberry jam all over it. Really? Yeah. Wow. I find that really good. I've actually never tried that. Oats it's, and jam. It's very tasty. Wow. What sort of what's your favorite jam to put on there? My favorite is probably blackberry. Blackberry, yeah. yeah. And what what brand? If you're in Australia, what brand is it? Do you know, like Coddies or it's it's in all Coles and Woolies. It's a French brand. Oh, Saint Saint Delphi. Saint Delphi, yeah. yeah. The skinny skinny jar. Yeah. yeah. The skinny one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> blackberry, okay. And what about uh, so it's a decent sized bowl of oats? Do you cook them up or you have them raw? Would you make a porridge with that? Yeah, so I make a porridge. I just put some water in the kettle, and yeah. then I pour it in over them. Oh, yeah. And then 
I let them cook like that and then add my toppings. Yeah. I, I used to do it on the stove, but it just takes up more time. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it's a creamy consistency on the stove top, yeah. Yeah. but I just want things done fast. I want my meals to be easy. So that's the secret, turns out it? great. Fast meals, fast food. Yeah. And all right, that's, that's, that's very good. I think that's covered up. We had some more questions, but we'll have to uh, postpone those to the next video. If you have any questions, gang, uh, leave them in the comment section down below. Ask Natasha. And there's links down there for Tumblr and Instagram. We'll see you next video. See you next video, guys.